Here's Mackay. Barry Mackay! That is spectacular! Rangers hit the front again! One foot in the final! And they're on the brink of a notable over victory! Remarkable! Brilliant finish. Celtic are furious about the throw in. But look at the execution of this shot. Cuts onto his right hand side. And the power generated from Mackay here, as well as the accuracy, right into the top corner. K. Gordon can't get anywhere near it. It's a stunning strike from Mackay. The man who thought his Rangers career was over when he was loaned out to Morton and Rafe. In the pipeline. Chief delivers. Jamie Ness! That is stunning! That is sensational! Jamie Ness with a screamer! What an incredible start for Rangers! Well, you won't see a football struck any sweeter than that in what remains of this season. It's a wonderful strike from the young man. I've got to say, Scott Brown is giving Benham Kyle and Chris Commons pelters for not getting out to the ball quickly enough. Celtic, everybody goal side. Commons and Kyle go out to the ball, but don't make a tackle. But what a strike! Actually goes through Chris Commons' legs. And Fraser Foster would have been wasting his time had he moved. Watson well, having to help that on his way. Christian Daly. Will it fair? Whitaker now for Nacho Novo. And he's in some space. Isn't that just typical of Nacho Novo? Rangers respond. And that is a crushing blow for Celtic's title hopes. And it's a familiar scorer against them. Well, this is just spectacular. It really is. Nacho Novo he gets a sniff at it. It's a lovely ball played through, but just look how much work he's got to do. Touch and hit right across Boric. The perfect position. Boric's angle's not quite right. He leaves too much of a space there. And that's enough of a space for Nacho Novo to get right through the ball. Perfect technique. Right over the top of it. Down in the ground. So difficult for a goalkeeper. It's his first sniff at goal. And why would it count? It's Kenny Miller now! How predictable was that? It just had to happen! Kenny Miller scores against Celtic! The man who has crossed the old firm divide twice! They're back in front! That's yet another sensational finish! It takes a long time this ball to get to him. Kuzak again, initially very good play. It's a lovely ball over. Miller's online, he's not offside. And he can only go one place. It's all about how he does it. Thompson floats over. And he gets it down into the ground, back across Boric. And that's just a fabulous finish. Great technique for any youngsters out there watching it. He's right over the top of it. Boric, because it goes first into the deck, he can't get there. Walter Smith, a very happy man. Well, that's gone down like a lead balloon here. Davis fools everyone by picking out Pedro Mendes. That is just brilliant, fabulous, an awesome goal from Pedro Mendes on his old firm debut. Rangers are loving. go a long, long way to see a better goal than this. It's just sensational. He comes across it from fully 25 yards. Such a difficult technique to master this one. But boy, does he catch that one sweetly. And you've got a goalkeeper of the highest order between the sticks, and he can't get there. It's absolute perfection. Look at the way he tees it up. He knows it's 
coming. He sends his side 3 1 up. Absolute brilliance. Well, he'd have to be a special kind of player to cope. Here's McCann. Arthur Newman, he's going to go for a hit. Oh! Arthur Newman! Breathtaking! And Rangers finally rise to the occasion and what a glorious goal! Oh, it's absolutely sensational. Celtic have got nine bodies goal side of the ball here as Arthur Newman picks this up and no one can do anything about that. That is unstoppable. Could not have struck it any sweeter, moving slightly right to left, if anything, just inside the post. And well, Alec McQueen... by Lorenzo Amoruso, up was Richard Goff, away by Mark Reaper, Yunus Turn! What a goal by Turn! 25 minutes of the match gone, Walter Smith joins in the celebrations. Rangers have a breakthrough, he's been in tremendous form. He's on a hot streak turn, that's his fourth goal in the last five games. And Jonathan Gold was a mere spectator here as the volley exploded into the top corner behind him. It's taken a goal of real quality to break it up. To get a goal in the second half. And this is a great break again from Albert. Loudrup to his right, McCoy's gone through the middle. He's not going to need any of them. He's going to go all the way. A magnificent goal from Albert. <laughs> what a splendid finish to a superb run from Albert. And Rangers now surely in the final to give Walter Smith a great sign-off as their manager. Yeah, I mean, Albert's is an outstanding game. And this cut to all, what, what a goal. He gets this ball in his own half. And he runs at least 40 yards with the ball. Past two, three Celtic defenders, and what a finish that was. That's one of the best goals I've seen in a long, long time. What a finish, what a great goal that was. Around Hampden Park. It's Barry Ferguson! Oh, yes! The captain shows the way with a fabulous free kick. Rangers were never going to give it up easily. You never can do when the old firm meet. Well, he's proving he's a leader now, this Rangers side in. Unlucky a few moments ago with the one that hit the post, but what a terrific strike. But I say, I think Rob Douglas should be nearer his right hand post here. But whether he'd have got to it in any case, I doubt. Tremendous movement, tremendous pace in the ball. Well. Rangers have answered the question again. It's the Rangers fans who are jumping and jiving now around. Ralph and Butcher have gone up. It's lost in field by Stevens. There's Butcher. Fight with Wilkins. Absolutely magnificent from Ray Wilkins. Ten minutes to half time. And a goal with Ray Wilkins will never have bettered. Butcher, the stunning volley from Wilkins and Andrews. Avaladze. There's Contamin. Oh, what a goal! A magnificent goal. Bert Contamin, of all people, the man who has been criticised, not to say ridiculed so often, puts Rangers in front with a tremendous strike. Well, what a fantastic strike, the ball breaks in at the edge of the box, no one can stop that, magnificent effort from Ponteman, a much maligned player in the Rangers ranks, but two Rangers in front, fantastic goal. And now Celtic must come forward again, 2-1 behind, in this extraordinary semi-final. Well, if you like to see that... Again. Rangers looking forward for an unlikely breakthrough. Early in the second half, Charlie Adam, Philip Schiebo, 
David Weir. He's got a shot by Agil. And it's left on the ground. And Hugo Agil has turned it in. That is so against the run of play today. But that's football. It's Celtic nil. Rangers won. It's unlikely. It's incredible. Would you believe it? It's a great finish as well. So difficult to do this. Celtic can't get the ball away, that's the problem. Echo goes up for the first one, it comes back in again, and just look at this. Unbelievable. It really is. Comes back in, it's a good challenge from Weir. Miller can't get there. And that's a striker's finish. And a big lad, he gets his back down, his right leg over. Fantastic technique. Boric gets a hand to it, it's not strong enough though. And Walter Smith can't believe it. The Rangers fans can't. And after such a fight. Back. Ferguson wants the ball kept by Rangers. Through the middle it goes, therefore, no ball. A slip there by Lawson. It's goal number two, and it'll stand all right. Rangers have scored again. They all stand from the hard work. Barry Ferguson, Fernando Rickson in the middle of it. Midfield area and Celtic just fast asleep. Three marking one at the back there, and that man, Nacho Novo, takes the opportunity. Three players ball watching, but what a great finish that is. Few and far between chances for Novo this afternoon, but that is a clinical finish. A oh, fantastic play by Novo, his 21st goal for Rangers. This season after 35 matches, this is his 35th match. This and a great mistake there by Lawson, losing his footing at the key time. There was no foul at all, no contact. This time Douglas was left totally helpless. Very, very poor defending. Alex McLeish absolutely delighted. But you must have said defending three defenders, marking one. All fast asleep, ball watching. To the point you made... Space for Andrews, not perhaps the man Rangers want most in possession here. But that's not a bad ball, it's a fire finish by Dado Porso! Rangers have the lead! What a fantastic delivery from Marvin Andrews. The same was the last person you want on for delivery. Take your foot out of your mouth, Jock. Great delivery, and what a fantastic finish. That man. Always there. How many times has he scored the first goal for Rangers? An important goals. Great finish. Must be said. It's very, very poor defending. Whitaker's throw. Lafferty. That's another go. Away by Wilson. Only to Greatest player on the pitch so far, Stephen Naismith. And he certainly gets his foot through this. I think Kyle could be doing better. Kyle sells himself in the corner. It's a very poor clearance from Kelvin Wilson. And I wouldn't blame Fraser Foster. It's a terrific finish. Moves a little bit left to right. Goalkeeper never getting it. But Kelvin Wilson should be doing much better at the front post. Super finish from the game's best player so far. And this is what he thought of it. Just get to this, Mustorovic. Miller! Kenny Miller! He always has a say on Derby Day! And Rangers show their incredible powers of recovery again! Now, and they're in front at Celtic Park! Well, it all came from a poor clearance from Fraser Foster, I'm afraid. But what a good touch this is from Naismith. Watch this pass here, first time. To put it back into the mix, Edu supplying the support. And what a finish that is from Kenny Miller. That's a wonderful pass here from Naismith to help it into the mix. And Kenny Miller's got time to, to have a look at where the Celtic goalkeeper is, and one touch was always going to be enough. And he fired blanks against Valencia midweek, but that is 12th SPL. Right, catch! 
fantastic finish. Rangers have the lead, and Steven Gerrard may feel they deserve it. He doesn't just throw it into the box. He picks out Ryan Kent. And what about the quality of this finish? To sweep it away with your left foot in off the post. Top-class finishing. And they've been on top. And they deserve to be in front. Absolutely wonderful from Ryan Kent. Foster has no chance there. Ball comes back. Picked up by Rickson. Nice little slip ball. And that beautifully worked by Rangers. The Rangers rampaging forward. Nobody's coming to Rickson. Look to the choice of left or right. It should come to Sean Avalanti. Controls Avalanti! The perfect counter attack puts Rangers ahead in the League Cup quarter final. They move the ball from back to front for Nando Rickson on the edge of his box and substitute Sean Avalanti. Shoots Rangers into the lead. Quite incredible counter attack here. Great run from Noble, you can see him here, Pitts have run across him to leave a space for Avalazzi. Great, that's a magnificent run and a great finish from the bottom of the left-hand corner there. Well, there it was, it was Rich and Lennon sat off him, waited for him to come, that allowed him the chance. Celtic drifted inside. And... There's a bit of a party going on at Ibrox at the moment. That's why the scoreboard says it all. His two back. Oh, he's put Kanchelskis away. Kanchelskis. Wallace. He can't score. Van Bronckhorst can't score. Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. Simply the best. Often echoes around Ibrox. Now you know why. Uh, Celtic in absolute tatters at the back now. Once again, it was the ball inside Tevely to release Kanchelskis that caused the problem. Too quick here for Tevely. Does well to pick out Wallace, and when the shot's blocked, it breaks perfectly for Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. And he more or less passes that into the net. Inside of the left foot, just bending it inside the left-hand pole. Davis. Jelovic makes his run. It is Stephen Davis! And he's put Rangers in front of the final! Stephen Davis sends the blue half of Glasgow into Raptors, and Rangers lead the League Cup final! Smith causing problems. Should be dealing with that Celtic. He's off and running. He doesn't catch a shot properly. But it's enough of an angle away from Foster to beat him right in against the post. He doesn't score anywhere else at that pace. But it's a big breakthrough. And the Celtics wall is five strong. But Albert gets it through. The hammer has torn Celtic apart. Uh, you won't see many key kicks hit any harder than that. That was awesome. Absolutely awesome. This is goalkeeper side. This is Stuart Kerr's side. But it's hit with such pace and ferocity. Goalkeeper doesn't edge to the right very far, does he, if at all? But that ball is past him before he can move. Look at the goalkeeper's position. He sees it. It's on its way. Go on, move. He'll want a goal. There's a slip by O'Neill and Lavrov to win. Rangers look for a goal and get one in the eighth minute from Brian Lavrov. Well, how many times have you and I sat and witnessed this? A good positive start from the home side. One mistake, and when you have someone of the world class of Brian Lavrov, you just can't make a mistake. Look, but he's got 40 yards to go. It's not over and done with. He's got to put a football in him. Alan Stubbs doesn't close him down, in my opinion, quick enough or well enough because he allows Loudrop time to drill it past not only him, but to drill it past Stuart Kerr. Rangers first real sortie, and it's a punishing one. A tale of two Bryans. For Adam. Here comes Charlie Adam. Oh, it's... Another fantastic free kick for Charlie Adam to add to his collection. A season to forget largely for Rangers, but this is a day to remember. It's 2-0. What a clever free kick. Caught everyone unaware. They're all looking for the high ball that goes up over the wall and down. But no, Charlie Adam. Clever free kick.
Derek along the ground, under the wall, the wall jumps. Boric, no chance, absolutely no chance. So well taken. Now Logo with Julio Sadam. Pass return, he's onside, he has loads up for Rangers. It's the second goal! The sucker punch for Rangers! Joy for Walter Smith on the bench. Load up has opened up Celtic by himself here. A little bit of help from Gordon Jury on the right. There was the pass, and it's had time perfect to leave him on side. It's the old sucker punch because Celtic have really had this end and say they've been putting range of defence under pressure. They stretch themselves a little bit at the back, trying to get that equaliser. And when you've got someone with the quality that Loudrop's got, it's always dangerous. It's a ball goes through the middle, it makes a chance, it makes it look so easy. And uh, really it makes it look Here's Dano Perso. Here's Ray. Ray. Here's Hutton. Who is delivered? And Rickson! Fernando Rickson equalises for Rangers right at the start of the second half. It's a wonderful header, but 10 out of 10 to Alan Hutton. What a delivery. He said McGeady, who's left one-on-one -on -one here, doesn't stop it coming into the box. Hutton makes half a yard. Terrific ball whipped in. Rickson gets across the front of Balder. Not a goal you'd expect Celtic to lose, given their aerial dominance at that end of the pitch. Half a yard is all that Fernando Rickson required. Good downward header. Rob Douglas never getting there. Rangers back in it.